Hey guys, it's Jamie from Border Bananas and Border Bananas DIY. Today I am bringing you part two of my pegboard project. Um, this is my craft room pegboard. We're accessorizing it today with some DIYs and an Ikea hack and I'm just walking you through all of that. In participation with Nicole Northgarden and Nicole Northgarden North Garden's DIY channel um, to get it done. The get it done collaboration. We are just supposed to be grabbing some projects that have been um, weighing on us and get to it. So having that been said, let's jump into it, shall we? To get the party started, we're doing some prep work. I have a couple of these metal baskets. One's oil rubbed bronze, this one's silver. I prefer the oil rubbed bronze, so I'm spray painting this one to match. This is just one of those under the cabinet baskets that hangs on a, a cabinet door, um, and I just took the hooks off for the cabinet door. Then I'm also spray painting this little wooden frame in the color Coastal Sage by Rust-Oleum. I will be using this frame to frame a piece of artwork my daughter Josephine drew for me with my Arteza pens. It turned out so cute and I wanted to frame it to put on my pegboard. To mount the IKEA spice rack onto the pegboard, first of all, I painted it in that same coastal sage. Now I'm going to take these little back plates off that hold the screws into uh, to the spice rack and to the wall, and place the screws in upside down so the head of the screw is in towards the wood. And then we're going to put the mounting plate back on. So it's holding the screw to the spice rack. You'll see what I mean in just a moment. But I found this tutorial on Nonchalantine right here on YouTube. She did an excellent job explaining what to do. When you are done on the first side, just repeat the steps on the second side. These are the screws I purchased for this. It was 99 cents for seven of them, and I used four, two on each spice rack. To mount the spice rack to the peg rack, you just have to line up the holes with the screws and pop it in once you have it figured out where you would like it placed. And then to secure it, screw the nuts onto the back of the screws and voila, it's finished. And then while I was out and about, I found this little shelf and I thought it would be the perfect addition to my pegboard for $4. So I got busy giving it three quick coats of white semi-gloss trim paint that I keep on hand.
Now that all of the prep work is finally finished, it is time to go ahead and start organizing. I did kind of map it out where I wanted everything to go before I started recording so that I could uh, speed up the process a little bit for you guys, otherwise it would take me all day to record and edit this video. But I started by placing the basket, the under the sink basket, um, underneath the spice racks and added my notebooks in there. And up top on the spice racks, I'm adding all of my Waverly chalk paints. Some of them are empty and need to be replaced like the white one, <laughs> but right now I can't get the white paint, so I'm just keeping it there as a reminder, so when I can, I will pick it up. But I'm getting all of my paint placed on the spice racks, and I think they are perfect on there if you're looking for um, something, some place to put your chalk paints. These spice racks turn out perfectly for them. Now I'm placing that thrifted shelf that I just painted um, and I actually I really like it the white. My mom gave me the advice of painting it white. I asked her what she thought and I do really like the brightness that it brings to the shelf. And I'm adding my vintage recipe tin up on top of that in the center. It's holding all of my essential oil recipes, my diffuser blend recipes and that kind of thing. And then I'm adding my little containers to the inside of the shelves. The little coral container holds cotton balls for swabbing items with alcohol to clean them before adhering uh, vinyl from my Cricut. And then I'm also adding all of my little craft paints in the shorter shelves. Um, I don't have that many. Uh, I don't use craft paint a ton. I'm sure I will start with my DIY channel here uh, because I do like to paint. So. Just a thought there. I'd like to take a moment to remind you that Nicole North Garden and Nicole North Garden DIYs channels will be linked down below in the description box as well as the playlist for everyone else's Get It Done Challenge videos. So don't forget to check the description box for those links. There should be plenty plenty of inspiration for you in, in that playlist. Next I'm adding this thrifted basket. It's filled with my paint brushes and a couple pairs of scissors, just cheap craft scissors. And then I'm adding this picture that Josie drew for me on my wall. It's just sitting on a couple of hooks. Now I'm adding in this wall basket. I picked this wall basket up at Menards. And I'm kind of tweaking that little hook there because that little hook is, has a little bit of a manufacturer detail. It's like off-centered and crooked. So my basket hangs a little wonky. So I just need to pick up another hook. But in that little Menards basket, I added three cups with my Arteza pen. And I'm bringing back my lamp so I can see. I added a smaller lampshade to this lamp. for it's, They're like $4 right now at Walmart. It is a little too small for the lampshade, but I like it because it's not taking up as much room on my desk uh, because the lampshade was kind of poking it out from the wall a little bit. But I'm really excited the way this pegboard turned out. If you like this video, please give it up thumbs up and subscribe. This is the first time I've ever decorated and organized a pegboard and it was so much fun. Okay, that's it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. This is my brand new DIY channel. I do have a main channel, Border Bananas, um, with a much bigger base <laughs> than this little guy. So if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. Bye.